Hey, we're back. Good day cooking back in the good day kitchen here. And this is Corey Harris and Gregory. And uh, Corey has, what, two different food trucks. Yes, ma'am. A seafood yes, food truck and then a Philly cheesesteak, yes, burgers, yes, all that kind all of stuff. All that good stuff. Today, though, we're focusing on fried seafood. That's right. That's and right. who doesn't love fried seafood, right? Everybody loves it. Yeah, so <laughs> there's something about catfish. Now, that's right. when we went to break, you realized what happened. That oil was too hot. So the good thing, good thing about this thing that I can control it, but you don't want your oil too hot. Yeah. You kind of want that oil a little medium, maybe about 325, 350, so it won't be so hot. And you don't want to fill your skillet up too high yeah. with oil because if you do, oil is going everywhere. And then what happens is if it was too hot, it gets crispy on the outside. That's right. Not, not done, done on the inside. inside. That's right. So see, even, even chefs can make that mistake. So don't be That's intimidated. Right. I guess is what he means by That's frying right. up. It's looking pretty good now, yes, though. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. This going to do it right here. All right. Now, Gregory has in his hand some huge shrimp. That's right. And so what did you put on those? Uh, we put some, uh, we put a little fish fry on it. We add a little flour on it. We double dip that. We double, double dip. We double dip it. And once we double dip it, well, the, the key is to make that stick on there. All right. Explain what you mean by double dipping it. Double dipping mean what we do, we drop it. One time inside our, our batter mix right here, we drop okay. it right here, we okay. put it in here, uh -huh. we put it back, back in, here, in there, back in there again. Look, kind of kind of a little work, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then we season it then. Okay. And after we season it, we... Okay. Whoop, so does the double is. dipping make it stay on there better? Du double double dipping make it stay on there better. Okay. And I think people like the crust as well yeah. a little bit better when you double dip it. Because there's flavoring in it's that. Flavoring and that's part that. of the shrimp, Yes, right? ma'am. Yes, okay. ma'am. Exactly. Now we, and so you drop those in there. They fry fast. They though. fry fast. We only want these to fry maybe about two or three, two or three minutes. Okay. Two or three minutes only, and then we're gonna pour these babies up out of there and plate them with the catfish over there. All right. So oh, what kind of oil do you use? We use a vegetable oil. Vegetable because oil. Because it has a high. high yes, ma'am. High, high, yeah. high point for for frying. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. All right. So those look good. All right. While yeah. those fry up, you have his baked beans. Everything goes into baked beans, right? Everything goes into the baked beans. All right, let's talk about the baked beans. Okay, we got our ground beef already in there. So ground beef in the baked beans. In the baked beans. Okay. We're going to do this old-fashioned, right? <laughs> <laughs> old-fashioned. Right here, we're going to add a little onions and bell peppers inside that. Okay. We have our sausage right here. Sausage? Sausage. I nice. think that's a, that's, a, that's a good sausage. I think it's a Kanika sausage. Okay. Also, we're going to put just a little... Wow. A little... A little sugar in there, and also we're going to put a little brown sugar in there as well. So you just, regular baked beans. Regular baked beans. And then you're adding this to it. So Added you could use it. canned baked beans and then you kick it up with this. Is that what you're saying? You can, yes ma'am. Okay. Can. You, can kind of, you can do all that kind of stuff. You know, it's all about the flavor. It's okay. all about the flavor. Also, we're going to put a little our secret sauce in there. We are. <laughs> we're going to put a little secret sauce in there. All right, he'll give us a sauce. substitute for the secret sauce. That's right, that that's is. right. And look, look here. Okay, the shrimp While we're doing that, these shrimp are looking good. So we're going to take these shrimp and kind of plate them. Look oh at my that. goodness. Look how big these shrimp is, Miss Rogers. Those are huge. They are huge. And they look great. I think the staff are going to enjoy these today. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Yes, All right, so as we wrap up, uh, the lesson just use, make sure you use vegetable oil. Yes, ma'am. And really coat them with some good flavoring. Right. And then that way you get a good coating here on the shrimp and you coating. can see the color of it that's right and so i know we're wrapping up Weird. but i also want them to see once you plate this you can on friday evening thursday evening you get home you might want to eat you some good cook dinner for your little ones mm -hmm. and look at that that looks and, perfect and right here we got some garlic bread okay. as well it's not all the way ready yet but we're gonna put garlic we're bread gonna let this. that we're gonna let that work on and we'll have all this these recipes for you online so you can try this too if you've never tried this many of you may have and you just want to try it his way that's Gregory, right Gregory, <laughs> Corey, good to see you thank you we'll take a break we'll be back we'll finish up here in the kitchen